So let's compare the Intel score i7-4790K with i7-5960X. Basically both of them are the top most com desktop com processors that are available as of uh, September 2014. The major difference between the two is the number of cores and the hyper threads. i7-5960X is 8 core while uh, 4790K is only 4 cores. Of course both of them support hyper threading so we get 18 hyper threads versus uh, uh, 16 hyper threads versus 8 hyper threads. <laughs> Besides that we also have a huge 20 MB of L2 cache versus 8 MB of L2 cache in 5960X versus 4790K. So these two are going to have a major dif uh, uh, difference in the performance. Now, <coughs> what happens is the i7-5960X has been powered lower at 3 GHz. i7-4790K is still better in single-threaded performance because just because of the uh, cool uh, the clock speed. Even though the, the, the gain is not going to be huge, but still, the clock still matters in case when you have only single threading taking place. The turbo clock difference is also still a 900 megahertz difference, about 30%. And we can see that the difference of the order of 30%, 25 to 30% because of the uh, uh, clock speed in single threaded. Hyper threading, the i7-5960X will be will still be way far ahead and that's where its uh, usefulness comes into. As you can see in the past market score which takes mostly the multi-threaded situation in picture and we can see it's substantially faster than 4790K. <laughs> there are few more things you need to know. One is i7-4790K is comes with the integrated graphics. 5960X does not have an integrated graphics. So if you are looking to build a system, you should be ready to pay much more with 5960X. <laughs> not only because it's the processor is expensive, but also because you will need an extra graphics card. So if you are budget minded. I would say you go with i7-4790K. Not that 5960X does not have a, a its market. For example, if you are looking for a workstation and it increases in efficiency by a substantial amount of time by, for example, you are running or uh, building a code or compiling a code much often, it will save you a lot of time which will pay for its price in the long run. <coughs> TDP rating is another thing. Uh, that you need to keep in mind i7-4790 k is um, much cooler at 88 watts let's take a look at the, some of their specification comparison on intel's website <coughs> we have covered most of this uh, number of cores and uh, and uh, cache 20 mb versus 8 mb but there are a couple of more information at Intel website. For example, the pricing as indicated is customer pricing is $350 versus $1059. That is a huge difference. For one i7-5960, you can almost get uh, three of the i7-4790K. You can see and the max memory is can be much larger in in i7-5960E uh, the DDR speed can get a boost another big difference is the number of memory channels 4 memory channels versus 2 memory channels so your throughput increases not only because of the um, higher memory speed but also because the number of memory channels between the processor and the memory doubles so you can get as high as 68 gigabyte per second versus 25.6 gigabyte per second. You already covered that it does not have the graphics and <coughs> that that is something you will like to consider if you are going for a lower price or pricing is your consider. 
they offer in different sockets so the motherboard is going to be different for these two so that's pretty much what it covers the one thing we would like to show you is some benchmark uh, that's there in uh, in semi accurate have a good uh, uh, article on this comparison and that is, is what it shows if you look at the single core performance then i7-5960x is better uh, i7-4790k is only 55% uh, 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 i7-5960x is only 55%, 73%, 89%, and 73% of 4790k in one post of the single core performance indicating 5960x is slower however if you go to multi core performance is about at 1.5 times um, faster than the 4790k for detail of these you can get a um, take a look at the semi accurate article so i believe that's all the difference between uh, these two great processors and depending upon budget you may want to go with one or the other thanks for taking a look